Hello beauty lovers, because I welcome back to my channel, just because you're doing well today. I'm going to be talking about body oil. It's a requested video by a subscriber of mine. And I'll be talking about this body oil um, based on the products that you can get from the shelf on the, in the market. Now, we have different types of body oil, but I like to call them serum. And I'm going to talk about this using a particular um, product to actually allude what I mean by serum. Now, before I go into this, serums can actually be either water-based or oil-based or both. Now, in a situation where you have both, in, both present in a particular product, a manufacturer can decide to claim whatever. Either it's, a, it's an oil or it's a serum. It depends, on the cost, it, it depends on the manufacturer's discretion to actually sell out the product. Now, in a, in a, in, in, in a product where you have most of the materials being water and slight amount of oil and you still see that products being called body oil yes they can claim that because of the way the formulation is made they are all and this is the reason why i said i would like to call them serum but in in the market generally most of all these products that you find in the market are actually water-based and this brings us a reason why when you mix them to a base oil like if you're trying to promix and you buy these products in the market and you add Things like um, grapeseed oil, almond oil, you kind of get a separation. That's because the product that you've gotten from the market is actually water-based. But on the, on, on the bottle, it's written a body oil. Now, I'm going to use a particular product to actually allude what I mean by this. And the product I'm going to be using to set this exam example is Hallyu Edgar body oil. It says it's a Hallyu Edgar body oil. But if you look at the ingredient list here... The ingredient, in the ingredient list kind of gives it away. It gives you an overview of what that product is actually made up of. This is a serum, if you ask me, and I would like to call it a water-based serum, all right? The reason why is because of the base solvent. If you look at the first ingredient that you find on this bottle, it's actually glycerin. And the first four ingredients actually gives it away that this is a water-based product. Now, if you mix this product inside an oil, you would get a separation, right? So, uh, just for us to note, I'm just citing this out. Now, this says it has glycerin. MPG here is monopropylene glycol and aloe vera extract. We have coconut extracts. That means it's actually water extracts. In this case, it's water soluble. And we have tocopherol which is vitamin E, which is the little amount of water. So, once you see vitamin E here, vitamin E from here, we have lemon oil, tea tree oil, sweet almond oil, kojic acid, and fragrance. Now, this template here, or this ingredient list now, tells me this is water-based serum or oil. Now, they call it oil because probably it has little amount of oil, but trust me, the oils here, it's less than... It's less than 3%. Now, the monopropylene glycol that it's here would stand as a solvent, a solubilizer, and a stabilizer. Now, this brings us to why people make mistakes with this type of oils. And we have tons of them in the market. Tons of them in the market. There are so many of them that I cannot rem remember right now. And they are all water-based. When you buy them and you mix them with an oil, as in a typical vegetable oil, like most promixers we do, you tend to have separation. So if you're not up to the game to know what to use in solubilizing them or bringing water and oil together, then you'll be making products that kind of have um, separation. And once you get those products, they, they, the vendor will tell you, shake well before you use. This is what happens. Now, generally, this type of oils are usually very very hot when you apply them directly on the skin because it is made up of glycerin or most times they're made up of solvents you know and these solvents what they do is they especially the mpg that is here which is the monopropylene glycol this helps to reduce the index polarity of your skin that would enable this kojic acid here they said it's only kojic acid which will help kojic acid penetrate better to the site where it's needed to work why because our skin is made up of lipids and for water-based products to actually pass through 
this to get to the layer where it needs to work you need to actually outsmart the lipids as in you know when you pour water on when you pour water on oil it's kind of bounces back right or it splits it separates so for you to actually get that water to sink in you need a solvent to do that and that's what mpg here is doing in this product now this also brings us a reason why people always have issues especially for pro mixers adding a lot of oils like this to the serums and at the end of the day they're adding extra glycol to their products it's actually um help to disrupt the lipid bilayer furthermore and that is not always healthy for the skin now how do you some how do you use this type of oil i would advise you to add this into your body cream your base cream and mix them up and use them directly like that if you apply this directly on your skin you feel some tackiness and some um stickiness more like you rub them sugar serum or honey on your skin it's always very friendly now there are some people that actually mix water to this or aloe vera water to it and make it kind of liquidify it a little bit and apply it directly on their skin you can actually do that if you choose to want to use it directly on your skin and that means you have to pat your skin dry and make sure that it's um it's kind of um damp before you start applying on your skin now um for 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 products that you get in the market that are like this also just look at the ingredient list when you see lipids as the base solvent just know that it's oil base but if you see things like um glycerin and uh, aqua that is water you see things like um aloe extract and anything like the, you see that it's extract that it's not water that that is oil soluble then you know that that base it's oil but when you see things that are water soluble just know that it's water so if you're mixing it with oil you're going to get a separation so the best bet is for you to add it directly to your body cream all right and if you want to add it to oil then you should know how to solubilize as in solubilize both the oil and the water together to actually have an even um product not that separation that you have now if you are interested if you want a body oil that would actually brighten you or give you that glow you can get vegetable oils in the market and um, um luxury oils like the rose hip oil the any seed oils and berry oils tomato seed oil um uh, uh, there are tons of uh, cucumber extracts raspberry oil all these luxury oils you can actually get them these are anti they are they are rich in antioxidant get a vegetable oil and get a, um an ester an ester like um like um cap capri triglycerides as a base you can use that up to about 60 percent all right add about 10 percent of your vegetable oil so that you don't have that um kind of um drippy shine so to say and it, you find it difficult for you to, for you to you know penetrate to your skin if you use vegetable oil to make up your body oil it gives it gives that greasiness i'm not a fan of that grease that comes with oil so i like to use i like to use esters you know like the um the triglycerides use triglycerides as my base add a little bit of vegetable oils to it now the the lights of um jojoba oil can come in the lights of um sunflower oil can come in depending on who i'm making it for all right then i incorporate all this um antioxidants like I just mentioned the raspberry the tomato seed the cucumber seed oil i add them probably at five percent depending on what i'm you know making and add in my vitamin E oil and you have a super glow body oil that you can actually apply directly on your skin if you're looking for a product if you're looking for a rich body oil that can actually help you know keep your skin you know, I wouldn't call it um high it oils on hydrate you they actually help to seal in moisture because that's the mistake people make they'll say ah this is going to oil don't hydrate they help to seal in moisture so if you're looking to make a body oil that will just glow and give you that shine and seal in moisture 
you can go through that route but trust me all these oils are claimed oils <laughs> that you get from the markets are are mostly water-based okay adding them to a body oil and mixing them together to add you know rub on your skin will not um i will not do great you know doesn't do justice on the skin so to say so the best way is to the best route is either you dilute this type of oils with water and apply directly to your skin or you add them in an emulsion which is a face cream and you apply them so let me know what you feel about this video if you learned anything from this video let me know what your skin challenge is about um using all these oils that you get from the market let me let's share your experience with me let me know what you feel about this video and what your experience has been using all these oils to you either pro mix or use them directly on your skin let's know what your um two cents is all about this oils <laughs> in the market i want to sincerely apologize for not being frequent here on youtube and that's because honestly speaking i've been trying to find my bearing after i had my child uh, for people that have more than two three kids abroad i doff my heart for you guys you guys are the real you are the real i don't know the real mothers like i'm not saying i'm not a mother here but you guys in fact you guys are really doing a wonderful job it's not been easy honestly speaking and this is me ranting after this video and just forgive me for not being here all the time you can actually follow me more on tiktok because i'm tiktok is kind of easy for me to you know hold my camera and do a short video talk about something that i feel like uh, it needs to go out there but youtube requires more of a certain environment setting of camera and talking and make sure that he's sleeping right now and that's why i can actually put out this video and i'll actually have videos that i've made but to sit and edit it is a problem and i want to sincerely apologize for this i hope i can find a way to always come here more often than ever and uh, i i don't want to promise anything that i'm going to be dropping videos but please anytime you see me here just accept me with love please i want to apologize sincerely and i don't know <sighs> until i come your way again i remain your favorite book girl zarina keep that glow pumping and i'll see you guys in my next one you know that zarina loves you guys you can also ask me direct questions if you if you need to ask me anything click on the link and chat me up directly on my whatsapp i'm always there to respond all right guys i'll see you guys ciao bye guys